The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, we're talking about the sauciest Ableton audio effect that is an EQ, distortion, and modulation tool all built into one. I'm talking about the Ableton Auto Filter. Let's start out by dropping it on the master before our master chain. So as you can see, I just used the low pass filter to roll off everything above 600 hertz. And there's a little resonance peak if you wanna add a spike right next to the roll off for that more noticeable filtering effect. But if we want our filter to be a little bit more active and bouncy, we can add envelope. And what this is doing is basically spiking this control, but you can't see it, it's doing it in the background, uh, whatever amount you choose based off of how loud the signal going into it is. So the drum hits are really gonna be opening the filter up in this beat. Now the attack and release control how fast the filter reacts to the transients that it's hearing and releases how quickly or slowly it returns back to the position that you assign to it. And that's a little bit extreme of an effect. I might just use it a tiny little bit. Instead of putting it on the master, I'm going to make a group out of all my synths and we're going to drag it from the master up onto here. And let's try doing some automation here on the auto filter frequency during this part. Let's have it cut down and filter back in. put this voice instrument into our synths group too so it gets filtered with everything else. Now since there aren't many transients during this part for the envelope to react to, I still want to give this filter a little bit more motion than just the simple slope that I drew in with the automation. And that's what this quantize function down here is amazing for. So what you do is basically tell it to not listen to the transients and to listen to whatever grid you choose. And you could do four sixteenth notes as a quarter note, one sixteenth note if you want a really fast pattern. And this is basically having this frequency amount move up in steps rhythmically every sixteenth note rather than just a smooth slope up. And let's try eighth notes. Hey. Let's do a little bit deeper of a starting point. Hey. Let's turn the envelope off just so you could hear what it's doing without it. That little quarter note motion helps give this pad a little bit of a more grounded rhythm because there's a lot of fast syncopated elements here in this group. So just having the little subtle quarter note change happening underneath it helps kind of remind the listener where the downbeat is. Say you want something a little bit more flowy, that's where the LFO comes in. And an LFO is basically taking this filter amount and swinging it back and forth. And the amount that it goes back and forth is determined by the amount Knob. So let's just try a little bit and let's do a musical LFO instead of a millisecond LFO. 
Let's try our quarter notes again, because that sounded good with the other one. Hey. So what this is essentially doing is giving us a upward sloping zigzag and now here we have some controls to do a really cool stereo effect what phase does is it takes the filter effect in the left ear and the filter effect in the right ear and misaligns them uh, so if you want them completely misaligned where the filter is closed in one ear while it's open in the other you would enter in 180. Hey. And what offset does is it picks a spot in the sine wave. It's basically following this shape that we pick. And what offset does is instead of having it start here at the neutral position, you could offset it a little bit to have it start a little bit up here or offset it 180 degrees, which I guess since this is a sine wave, you'd probably want to do 90 degrees since uh, this would be a different spot from here. Your offset is basically going to have it start on different parts of the wave, but to have it stay on beat since we're doing a quarter note, leaving the offset at zero is going to be better for our rhythmic effect. Does your master chain sound a little weak sauce? Do your tracks lack organic flavor and quality? Maybe you're just missing the sauce. Introducing Master Sauce, our organic blend of Ableton effects that'll get your masters so crispy you might never use another plug-in chain again. Master Sauce is available now only at wholeloops.com. In addition to these really cool automatically moving filters, the auto filter is also a beast for some mixing cleanup work. Let's go down into our drums group where we have a little bit of competition between the hi-hats that are closed and the shaker because a lot of times they're playing the same pattern. So let's start out by using auto filter here on this shaker and do a little bit of a cleanup. Instead of using a low pass, I'm going to use a high pass because all I want is the very, very top absolute crispiness of the shaker. Now, I kind of like this spot on the frequency, but it got really quiet. So to make up for this huge loss in signal, which we just cut out, we now have this little option of different types of distortion. And OSR is a very soft distortion. MS2 is a very aggressive distortion. SMP is probably a 50-50 combination of both of these and PRD is really just its own beast. So you do have four truly different flavors of distortion to reboost your signal with after you filter it. And to boost it out, you just gotta pick whichever flavor of distortion you want and turn that drive back up. And without it, and with it. We can even just bump this up even higher bump this up even higher. Maybe a little resonance. Or maybe the attacks of the shaker control an envelope that makes it even thinner on the downbeats. Let's turn the hats off. got a little bit more movement to it versus this where it stays in the same spot the whole time. Moving filters are really the sauce, especially when they are reacting to the signal that you're filtering. If you want it to maybe duck to a different part of the signal, you can also hit this little triangle here on auto filter, enable sidechain, and pick a instrument for it to filter to. So let's say we wanted our kick drum to control how much low cut this 
was receiving. Let's turn this down so we could hear it a little bit better and turn this up so we get a more drastic difference. So you could hear it getting thin where our kick hits. And if our kick is coming in hot and we don't want it to control our side chain so much, you can just pull the gain down on it. Or a slight variation of that is a mix knob. It's dry and wet. I wouldn't have it so extreme for the actual mix. I would probably do something more like this. And now for the hi-hats, they're kind of getting lost under the really crispy auto filter. So we're just gonna grab the built-in auto filter here on the sampler. So let's go and maybe add some resonance around 10K to these. I want these hats to really dominate the 10K range. Maybe down a little bit, like 6, 7K. Let's also use the phase controls here. Add a little bit more stereoness to this. And instead of the normal phase, you also have something called spin, which gives the illusion that the shaker is spinning around in a circle around the listener's head. A little bit of a different take on panning, but the difference between phase and spin is so subtle that I almost always just leave it at phase. Now there's a little frequency in the uh, low mids that I think is causing the amp to distort more than I want it to. So I'm gonna switch this to my notch. Maybe make this a little bit narrower of and without it. I guess when you're using notch, you don't get all the filter options. So I'm just going to leave this one at clean. little envelope made that fit perfect in the mix. So what we're doing is basically completely dumping this frequency band from the guitar before it hits the amp because there's three different stages of distortion going on here in pedal, amp, and cabinet. And if you want to see the tutorials on all these plugins and audio effect rack, I'll put links to those episodes of the Ableton ABC series in the video description. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found all the tips tricks and shortcuts in this auto filter tutorial useful and i'll catch you guys next time with another ableton stock plugins tutorial peace out